Hey gang, and welcome back with me, Brad Fitzpatrick, as we play another new game. Well, not relatively new, obviously, but new to me, and maybe new to you. <laughs> this game is called The Uncertain Last Quiet Day. It was actually free on Steam a couple of weeks ago, uh, because I guess they're having a uh, DLC coming out here pretty soon that's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, the game is a post-apocalyptic story game. So, I mean, in the middle of the 22nd century, humanity became extinct as a result of deadly wars. However, the robots created by humans turned out to be very self-sufficient on their own. Artificial intelligence continued to evolve, which allowed robots to build their own society from the ruins of the past civilization. Each robot found a field of work that best suited their abilities. Slowly but steadily, they created a new civilization on Earth. They rightfully avoided past human mistakes, but there was one problem. The more progress they made, the more they looked and acted like humans. Common Games presents T217NP Primary Mission Unknown I am not designed for physical exercise. I am certainly not capable of construction activity, but I am very skillful with electronics. I have set myself a task. I search the remains for electronic devices and make use of them to design different mechanisms that are useful and efficient. Humans, we replace them. It took them ages to achieve what we have done in just a few years. We have formed a perfect society. Robots will not repeat the destructive human mistakes of the past. We are rational and logical. We do not fight in wars, and we cannot get ill. By replacing humans, we interrupted the self-destructive cycle of these intelligent, but highly aggressive former inhabitants of the Earth but it is going to take decades to reconstruct the world that they destroyed. Then, our robot race will flourish under the guidance of our creator, the USS Corporation. Our world is not perfect yet. We are short on many resources, and we can count only on ourselves, but this is temporary. Most robots need to be repaired very often, but not me. I am very efficient at taking care of myself. All right, so that means that we can take care of ourselves as a robot. <clears throat> but you think you should have a name, though? Not just a serial number. But I guess as robots, a serial number is probably the best option. a video card there. I only brought one battery this time, though it might be compatible with the radio. I need to find a second battery. It was with my tools. I like how the voice actor pretty much made himself like very monotone. Oh, so that's what this is. All right, so these are the tools. Um, interact. The data disk that I found is damaged. Perhaps it still contains some information. I do have a data disk. The dock station's purpose is to recharge the batteries and update the built-in software of the robots. However, I made some changes in its firmware to avoid updates. I am now able to develop independently. That's never a good sign. music. This analog device allows you to extract sound from the installed audio data carrier. Why did humans use such an inconvenient device when one can just do this? Be because we couldn't do that. 
We really couldn't. This is an intercom, a high-powered desktop computer. I do not need to use its full capacity, but the internet is useful to communicate with other robots. Unfortunately, my design does not support wireless internet connection, so I had to use the computer. God, isn't that always the truth? I do not sleep like humans did. I just need to charge for two hours on the dock. I like the graphic setup. It's actually pretty cool. This module contains spare parts and items I might use. This compartment contains textiles. Humans covered their bodies with it. The purpose of this is unknown to me. Oh, I get to turn on the radio. I found this radio receiver a few days ago, but there were no batteries. I have no use for it. I wonder if there are any radios left broadcasting in the world. I need to find a second battery. Okay. Must be the people who owned the house before him. You know, the actual humans. But I wonder how, um... This room is very strange. I never enter it. How the robots picked a house. Here are the tools. I made this plasma cutter from materials that I found in destroyed buildings. A construction robot ordered it. Okay, but there was supposed to be... Ah, there's a second battery right there. Now I have two batteries. I can try to turn the radio receiver on. Um, and, and honestly... The water supply system ceased functioning many years ago. Um, if you take in consideration, uh, the way robots kind of are, having him narrate everything, it doesn't seem weird. I tried to extract sounds from it, but after ten minutes, I tore the second string. Me too, robot. Me too. Alright, we're gonna go over here to the radio. I have two batteries. Now I need to insert them. Alright, so I... Obviously... Flip ya. There is this. Put the batteries in. Oh, that's very nice and smooth. I'm going to turn it on. Very nice and smooth. I'm gonna hit the power button. All right, now it looks like we're gonna need to uh, change the. Uh... Okay, but it won't let me tune it. Why aren't you letting me tune? Oh, it's gonna tune on the side. Oh, that's the volume. Okay, rotate left stick. A little bit of static. Uh oh. And this heroic feat will remain in our hearts forever. Don't let the fallen give their lives in vain. Join the army. Protect your homeland. Save your freedom, tradition, and... A small group of people controlled the masses using such words. I do not understand how a simple human speech could have urged people to participate in war. It would be more logical to reach a compromise by means of negotiations. Alright, now what is my task? I do have this. Let's see. Perhaps the intercom can read data that is not damaged. Perhaps. Let's see what we got. Oh. Okay, so we've got some files. Uh, data is corrupted. I uh, fought with my parents again. Because of us? Guess what? They took my phone and read our text. It's an outrage. Ouch. 
I better keep out of their way now. Not funny. My mom slapped me in the face. Is it that bad? Hang on, someone's coming. Okay, Debbie, you there? Where have you gone? Hey, where the hell are you? You okay? Hello, it's not funny anymore. Deborah, answer, answer me now or I'm going to you. Using system, using system runtime, blah 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 blah. Okay, so that looks like just regular stuff. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, there was supposed to be. What is that? Oh, okay, unknown directory describer. Audio data was corrupted. All right, got two minutes worth of talk. Maybe I should be actually using the mouse for this. Is it just a song? Yep. It's just a song. Nice and soothing. Okay, let's look at our mail. UES Robotics at InfoRB for more upgrading notification. Changes in this edition. Optimization of the stabilization system when the battery charges at a low level. An error with the connecting to the USS Finder from a private network is corrected. A function that erases the daily logbook files is added. Algorithm of data transmission in 12G network is improved. Signal system for the detection of illegal objects is added. Various improvements and optimization of the operating system are added. The vulnerability that allows bypassing of the firewall protecting the installation of the third-party software is corrected. Please switch to the USS portal to receive detailed info and download this update. But we don't want to do that. We want to grow on our own. All right. Let's just, uh, empty. Error. No reading file. Okay, so we're going to quit. Um, I really don't... Um, Oh, incoming call. Just as I walk away. This is the construction robot who ordered the plasma cutter. I will answer. <clears throat> Hello? RT, this is TX27. It was difficult to find your contact information. You were supposed to have finished the plasma cutter two days ago. Why have we not received it yet? I am sorry, but it took more time than I had estimated to find all the required components. This information is irrelevant. The date of exchange has been fixed. You should have brought me the cutter and receive an enhanced battery in return. This is my fault. I will finish the cutter as efficiently as possible. Your excuses are irrelevant. We cannot proceed with our work without this cutter. We need it for building metal structures. While you free robots waste your energy on useless and ineffective actions, we are engaged in construction and restoration of the city, which will strengthen our society. We can wait one more day. If you don't deliver the order in time, we will contact another specialist, and your professional rating will be severely decreased. contact you to settle the time and place as soon as I complete the job. Good. Thank you. We will be waiting. I cannot fail in my task. Structure robots do very important work. I need to finish the cutter as quickly as possible. I mean, yeah, we do. Okay, so I do know where the cutter is, so let's, uh, finish the plasma. Oh, what are you? What are you? I took this device from a plant that was guarded, and I went unnoticed. There were no security systems, despite two police robots. Well, alright. I have no idea what that does, though. Find pairs for icons to form a square. Alright, then. Um... Like that one, and like that one. Oh, it's it's like timed. That's not good, because I am not very good at these at all. Oh, that's not it. But there's... Okay. Um, eh. Oh, 
oh man, this one doesn't have one. Doesn't look like it has one anyway. I don't know, I don't know where, where to go, maybe. Nope, I'm going to fail. Well, bollocks. Oh, my god, I found it. Okay, well that helps. Okay, um, you and you, and you and you, uh, you and you. Once you start, like, finding all of them, it becomes much easier to do it. I'm glad the timer didn't really die on me, though. Success! Success! Oh, I guess I needed that to do this. Is that all I Good. needed? The cutter is now complete. Tomorrow morning, I need to go to the city and deliver it. I do not need the battery that they offer in payment, but it would be irrational to refuse. My battery charge is 12%. The most effective action I can take is to get fully charged on the dock station before the morning. Alright, I wish there was like a, like, like a highlight. I found this saw on Brandon Street. So I can see everything that I can um, actually fiddle with. That would be great. Alright. Uh, I guess... Uh... The dock station's purpose is to recharge the... I already did that. Uh, so what? Do I need to go ahead and just... Go ahead and dock? The dock station is not powered at the moment. I need ah, to okay. transfer power to it at the electric switchboard. Humans used it to save their precious resources. We have a lot in common. Yeah, we did. All right, let's go switch power. Bloop, bloop. Oh, get rid of access power at both sources. Access power is displayed in the yellow. <laughs> oh, okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. That would seem like it would be... There we go! Now the dock station is ready to use. So the game seems actually relatively interesting. I couldn't... Oh, I just, I just look at it. I thought maybe I'd be able to do something with it. Okay. Well, I mean, the best thing for us to do right now is just to recharge our battery. Quick charge. And then we're going to go to the city, it looks like. <clears throat> go give these people some plasma cutters. And see what the city looks like after robot reconstruction. Oh, look at the birds. All right, that's a uh, something. And all those birds are dead. What happened? Uh, obviously somebody wrecked. Now, is this a human or is this another robot? All right, let's uh, let's go over and see what the problem is over here. I already have the plasma cutter, so I'm gonna be able to cut myself in.
Boom. Plasma cut it. Pretty big ship from what it looked like. Oh wow. Why did the robot crash though? This robot is badly damaged due to an accident. It is possible that it piloted this shuttle. I need more information about what occurred here. My touch will not make this robot functional. According to the indicator, there is still some charge in the accumulator. Alright, let's pick up the accumulator then. An accumulator is basically just a big battery, probably. USS Robotics Boxes. They withstand serious accidents. Okay. Let's, uh, power him up. I need some wires to connect the accumulator. Alright, so let's find some wires. There's another door over here. Can I go inside this door here, maybe? This looks like a storeroom. up the storeroom. A lithium sulfur accumulator was common for older aircraft models. It applies standard voltage, but it is not suitable for robots due to the excess weight and dimensions. We use a more efficient portable version. I have already found a working accumulator. Yep, and there's some wires. Let's it see is what possible this guy did. that I can power it with the accumulator that I found. <clears throat> well then, um... Oh, right here. And there's a positive, and there's the negative. Alright, we're gonna have to... Help who? Zero. Seven. Should I be writing this down? Five. Okay. The pilot is no longer functioning. What did he say? Who should I help? And what are these numbers? Is it a code? Yeah, let's go upstairs and see what's going on up here. I do have zero. Okay, so I didn't need to write it down, but I wrote it down anyway, just just in case. All right. Let's the onboard computer is still functioning. Okay. Uh, let's disable the alarm. Console jailbreak detected. Autopilot deactivated. See log for more info. It's diagnostic. Life support system not active. Autopilot off. See log. Power supply not responding. Engine not responding. Fuel tank leaking. Gateway locked. Communication not responding. Radar not responding. Emergency communication none. Landing gear released. Flaps released. Ship is not ready to fly. Eliminate all faults to continue. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, open the hold. What is this? Zero, seven, five, seven. Oh, okay. So zero, seven. I thought he said seven. Okay, hold on. Let's go back because there might be shuttle command. Ship AI data files is corrupted. Please use manual control. Error driver IRQL not less or equal. Um, check hard drive device to try again. So it has to be zero seven five something. Okay, so <clears throat> ah, that was kind of a fluke, but I guess that is what works. I think this door is now unlocked. Oh. 
That's not what I wanted to do at all. How is this possible? Wait, there are humans. But are they alive still? That was a pretty crazy crash, so they may not be alive. The shuttle is surrounded. Step out immediately. Uh... What's going on? I am asking questions here. Identify yourself. RT-217NP. Where are the passengers of this shuttle? The pilot sustained injuries during the crash and does not function. I tried to reset him, but did not succeed. How did you enter the shuttle? The shuttle crashed near a building where I was located, so I decided to evaluate the results of the crash. You discovered humans that had been transferred in this shuttle. You hold classified information, which means that now we have to disintegrate you. No. Wait. What? Wait. What is this? That's an EMP, isn't it? I knew it! But with a society that doesn't do wars, why do you need police? Right? Well, maybe I'm going to be repaired. I don't have all the new upgrades, so they'll want me, right? Oh, but I'm locked into handcuffs. Nice. Try to break free of the handcuffs. I would not recommend you do that. Stay still and do not try to escape or I will have to disintegrate you. What happened? Why was I rebooted? Your microchip self-rebooted when the EMP grenade detonated. Your system data has been damaged. Automatic recovery took time. You function correctly now. Those police officers, why would they want to destroy me? Humankind is officially considered extinct. You just found out that is not true. USS oh. Robotics withholds this information from us and releases malicious automatic updates. Every robot who contacted a human has disappeared. We know that USS uses police to search for surviving humans and then transfers them in shuttles to an undisclosed location. Interesting. However, the police could not locate them all. We managed to find a few, and through them, we learned about the others. I added some changes into my docking station to skip updates. Apparently, I am different from most robots now. We discovered it during the diagnostic testing after the EMP detonation. This is the reason you are here. The date of your latest update suggests that your personal data hasn't been changed. Oh, well, thank we you. We have to make a decision, RT. We cannot let you go because you know too much about our shelter and plans. However, you could help us. All of us are wanted by the police. Each time we leave the shelter, we take a big risk. You, on the other hand, can walk wherever you want. You gave me no choice. A negative answer will result in my immediate disintegration. 
which is unacceptable. I am forced True. to join you. You made the right choice. It's the logical choice. You will choice. see it soon. I will free you, and you may take a look around. When you are ready, I will share available data with you. And I love how each robot has their own distinct voice. That's pretty nice. At least I was not disintegrated. I would better look around. much to look around at, obviously. I cannot determine the logic of these symbols. It may be a code, but I need a key to calculate its algorithm. Uh. A compact analog for the intercom. The unit is not functioning. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. An electric fuse. It is too big to be useful. Why would humans make so many interior doors? The atmosphere and air pressure is equal on both sides. Privacy, buddy. Privacy. Welcome. Hello. What are you doing here? I repair electrics in this hospital and restored already in a few blocks, but the power supply is still defective. Gregory said that you would join us. Can you help me out, RT? Of course, if it is within my powers. I need to replace the contactors in this electrical panel. Can you bring me some spares? I saw them in the utility room. It is the one with a broken door. There is no lighting there yet. In case night vision is not applicable in your model, there is a flashlight in the hallway. I will try to help you. Why are you equipping this abandoned hospital? Gregory decided to have a base here. I mean, why not? Their choice was not random. He and Abigail used to work in such a place. A hospital suits us well, because it is designed for helping humans. Unfortunately, the first group of humans dies in a crash. We still do not know why it happened. The police arrived at the crash scene in a few minutes. The USS probably found out about your plans, and the crash was not just an accident. There was no time to investigate, because we left the crash scene immediately. We will probably know more after we contact our allies. Thank you for the info. I will go search for the contactors. Thank you. Alright, so find contractors. Uh, I don't... What are you? A new patient, uh, Spooner, has been admitted today. He has a major arm trauma and multiple burns, but all non-fatal. According to Spooner, his home robot forced him out of the house and prevented him from saving his wife and daughter. Unfortunately, they didn't survive because the house collapsed on top of them. Spooner is in shock. I passed him on to the psychiatrist. All right. What is this? The purpose of the item is unknown. Oh, it's a game. It is most likely a medical device. Everybody lies. This fuse is out of order. It is useless. Okay. These cabinets contain provision. It has not expired yet. That's kind of awkward, but all right. Let's go see what these other, other people have to say. Hello, I am busy at the moment, but let us talk later. Okay, Oracle. Hello. Hello. Do you help humans as well? That's right. It's so lovely that you joined us. That makes five of us. You can call me Abigail. I saw a repair robot in the hallway. Yes, it was Patrick. He maintains us and our equipment. Nick and I are trying to fix the intercom now. Well, I mean, the intercom would be great. Why is the lighting in the building so unstable? We settled here just recently and haven't restored all the systems yet. Patrick is restoring the power supply right now. Nick and I are fixing the intercom. Thank you for the information. No problem. You're welcome. All right. 
the one with the broken door. Obviously, it wasn't that. Maybe it's this one over here. And I'm running, and I'm running, and I'm running. Or maybe it was this broken door, maybe? It is locked. Oh, nope. That is not a broken door. This one right here is the one that has a broken door. I need to find a flashlight. All right. So there was one in the hallway. Is this a flashlight? I cannot use this fuse anywhere. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Let's look in here for maybe a flashlight. <clears throat> um, obviously not. This guy has... The doctor. I do not need this chip. So? I mean, it's something there. Why don't I take it? RT, come in. You are much more efficient without the handcuffs, aren't you? Have you met the others? Uh, yeah. I met Abigail. I guess she is your assistant. Her speech is not typical for a robot. I also talked to Patrick. He asked for help with the power supply. I was just going to do it. I also met Nick. He looks very damaged. He was busy, so I didn't bother him. I see. You probably have questions. Yes, you are right. I do. Tell me more about humans. I obviously don't have reliable information. Our knowledge about humans is not complete yet. As soon as we found out there are small groups of humans hiding in the cities, we realized that the self-destruction story was not true. We know for a fact that the USS locates humans and disintegrates anyone who saw them. That is why leaving the shelter is very risky for all of us. We also know that the USS does not destroy humans, but transfers them somewhere on shuttles. One of those crashed near you. We still do not know where the USS moves the humans. It is not clear why the shuttle crashed. I tried to reboot the pilot, but failed. Is he beyond repair? The pilot was our ally, and he could tell us about the crash, but we do not have the equipment to repair him. His memory chip was damaged during the crash, but most of the data is still intact. So the pilot that hijacked the shuttle was supposed to save the humans from being transferred to the USS? That is right. The pilot was supposed to save them and bring them here. Most likely he knew the original USS destination. I see. Thank you for the answers. I will return to my current task. All right. All right, and my current task is basically just trying to find a flashlight. A holographic table. Inoperable. I suspect that is due to a power failure. Okay, so... Maybe the flashlight is downstairs? Because so far I am not finding a flashlight in this hallway. Oh, but there was a more in the hallway, it seemed. Ah, ah! That looks like a flashlight! And I am correct. Oh, I, can... I do not need it. My legs function very well. It's true. I need to find some contactors here. Yes. That is exactly what we're going to try to do. Contactors, where could you be? Oh. I found one electric contactor. I should look for more in case it is not enough. Okay, so it's obviously that, uh... Magnesium sulfate. It is useless to me. Acrylic paint. Ineffective. Only outdated robots are covered with this type of paint. An analog device for weighing small objects. It is very inaccurate. Yeah, we know it's very inaccurate, but you know... Second contactor. The task would be easier if I had infrared vision or an item scanner. Yeah, that would be good. I have no high temperature protection. This device could stop a fire, but it is too bulky to carry around. And besides, it is not... Alright, not functioning. A toolkit. 
I could bring it along, but I do not think I will be back to the workshop anytime soon. That doesn't mean that you can't use it. A screwdriver. I do not need it right now. Dude, look, you're, you're, look, if you're a mechanic, you should An grab everything you cylinder. can. It is empty. Third contactor. It appears intact. An empty metal container. A powder extinguisher. It expired six years, eight months, and twelve days ago. I think that might be it. Oh no, there's another con there's fourth another one contactor. There. I think this will be enough. I will give these fuses to Patrick. Hey Patrick, I've got your stuff. Did you find the contactors? Yes, this is all I could find. Good, now I can finish my work. Thank you. What else can I do while I am here? Nothing for now. Thank you once again. You are very welcome. I am glad to be of help. RT, Nip needs your help. Please speak with him. Good. Good. I like it when people need my help. It makes me smarter. Thank you for coming, RT. It is good that you joined our organization. You left me no choice. If I refused to assist, then you would have disintegrated me just like the police robots. But it is contrary to one of my priorities, which is self-protection. That is why I am forced to help you. Do not worry. You will see the truth soon enough, and then you will help us voluntarily. The updates released by the USS prevent changing the personality module, and they activate the alarm if any human is detected. We jam the signals here at the hospital. That is how we could bring you here safely. Although I cannot change your personality module, I could turn off the alarm. No need. I turned off automatic updates long ago because I want to evolve by myself. Now I see why I did not detect any outgoing signals. Good. Then there is no need to change your system. Then again, Gregory will fill in the details. I just wanted to ask for some help. We are restoring the building's main systems. I fixed the intercom, so now we have the internet. The only way anyone can detect us is if we let them. RT, the servers are on the basement level. Could you please start servers number 1, 3, and 4? Then make sure all the nodes are functioning, and activate the connection to the internet. After that, please return here. Sounds simple okay. enough. I will do what I can. So yeah, I'm really kind of enjoying this game. It's kind of a nice sort of jaunty little storytelling game. I don't know how long the game actually is. Uh, but it is a fuse, but it is broken and will not work. You know, it might actually be one of those games that I'll probably play on my own. So this is... Starting the servers is the highest priority. Okay, so that's probably here. This is an electric switchboard. I will get to work on it as soon as I customize all the other parts of the server. Okay, so that is not... If I refused to cooperate, I would be disintegrated just like them. Oh, wow. Why would the police robots do that? They must have realized the consequences. The USS updates probably damaged their logic module. This router distributes traffic across the hospital network. It is missing a chip. The router will not work without it. Okay. There are a few chips here, but they are out of order. I must find a working chip. I did find one upstairs. I can open the cover of this console. Well, might as well open the cover of the console. It is missing a fuse. Oof. Okay, so we need one, three, four. I started the necessary servers. Okay. Then I can come over here. It is missing a switch. 
I need to find it, otherwise I cannot finish setting the server. It is probably somewhere nearby. Okay, so we're missing a switch that could very well be nearby somewhere. Uh, let's see. Is this the switch? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, come on. Are you going to do it from... I have to do it from over here? No? Because you're going to walk around. It is the same switch needed for the switchboard. All right. Um, hold on. Let me see. Is there... Okay, I can't go over that way. I do know I need that uh, that other chip up here, so let's see if I can go go ahead and go grab that first, and just be done with it all at once before I have to do anything else. Oh, they got the holographic system working. If it is functional, then I can fix the router in the server room. The holographic table resumed working as soon as we restored power. It is projecting a hologram of the shuttle where I found the human bodies. Alright. I am going to need a fuse as well, but I don't know, I don't think I saw a fuse anywhere, so I'm probably going to have to go look for one. The router should work with this chip. Okay. Good. It fits perfectly. Now I can finish setting the switchboard. The switchboard is the last segment of the server system. Ah. I can do it later. Okay, so yep, I need to go find a fuse. I went to several areas, but I couldn't... All the fuses I found were broken. There's something in the box. Oh my god, it's something in the box. <laughs> it is a fuse, but it is broken and will not work. Okay, well let's... Uh, I guess we're going to try to go back upstairs. if we can't find a fuse. There is that locked door. The purpose of this device was to help those who could no longer walk by themselves. It has been inappropriately applied to me. I can't go in that door. Um, this room was the first place where my freedom was severely limited. Okay, so you're scared of that room. Why would humans make so many interior? Okay, we've already saw that. Uh, that one doesn't have a fuse. I know the door is locked, but I'm just going to try it again. It is locked. We do have a fuse here, but I don't know if it's broken or not. I guess it's not. I found a not. working fuse for the server. Get this server up and running and you know what after that i will call it a day this video has probably been going on for a while anyway even though i have been enjoying myself hopefully the you have been too functioning now. we don't want to spend all day to set the switches on the switchboard last bit okay uh one one so what is that oh Must activate the data transfer in the console. If I follow the correct procedure, we will have access to the internet. All right, so we actually are done now. The server room is connected. What are these notes? 
Tom, thanks for yesterday evening. The exhibition was amazing. The white rabbits were adorable. Call me this weekend. Trisha. Mwah. Okay. Uh, we are connected. Local server console. I finished my work. I should return to Nick. Right, but it said that server 2 failed. All right, we're gonna go talk to Nick real quick and uh, we'll call it a day. I like robots that have like actual signing names. I don't like RT. I like Gregory, I like, I like Nick, I like Patrick. Those are all cool names for robots. I see an active connection, but it took more time than I expected. Did something go wrong? Yes. I need to replace a few details, but it is all right now. Good. The communication issue is solved then. Abigail and I fixed a portable intercom for you, and I set a protected connection on it. Take it. You will need it on your first assignment. Nice. Okay. What will it be? Gregory will let you into details now. So, everyone is here. As you already know, a group of humans we intended to accommodate have died in a crash. Abe was disabled. Next thing, we have a new task. Yesterday, our informer, police robot F2, should have brought us data disk with important information. He did not show up and there is no contact with him. We must obtain that data. Our plans will be compromised if the USS gets it first. We cannot enter our informer shelter because we will be detected the moment we step into the city. But police does not know about you, RT. So your task is to go to the city and find out what happened to F2. Alright. How do I reach the city? Walking is too long and not safe. Nick fixed an old aero car. So it is invisible to the radars. You nice. can take it. Good. This will save our time and resources. You may contact us and report the situation. Nick provided you with a portable intercom with an encrypted transmission channel. You cannot be traced, but to avoid suspicion, I do not recommend to use it very often. All right, I see. That is it. Let us move forward, Patrick. Prepare the aero car for the flight. All right. Nick, check the communication once more. Abigail, give RT his plasma cutter. He may need it. Okie dokie. I guess that is the end of that. I couldn't ask any more questions, nor could I stop the progress of what we were talking about. I really kind of wanted to, like, end it before I got into the car, but, I mean, hey, that's just kind of the way things are. Stop. Robot abuse. You know what? I think we're going to end this here. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. I was relatively enjoying it. Uh, so if you guys did like it, let me know in the comments. We may be able to finish it for everyone. But until then, guys, remember, always be kind to each other, and I will see you in the next video.